One of the most beautiful things about jujitsu is switching and transitions between position to position. When one thing doesn't work, um, there's always another opportunity that's presenting uh, right in front of you. The question is, are you seeing it? Are you um, able to capitalize on it? Are you able to execute it in an efficient manner where it works in your advantage? This is a very good example of this. So take a look. As we are working on finishing our arm rock, I'm pulling and my partner is um, holding on to his hands. He has a very solid grip. Often I call this desperation mode. He knows the moment this grips is let go, I'm going to execute on my arm rock, right? Maybe I'm even coming in with my heel, with my foot, trying to separate this, but this grip is just way too powerful. There's a variety of different ways, but right now I'm going to show you, show you how to switch this into a triangle choke. So from here, take a look, my foot will slide inside. And I will actually open the elbow quite a bit. I want to have as much space as possible. Why? Because I'm putting my partner in a position of false reality. Now there is an opening. And if he takes the bait and sits in, boom. He's going to step right into a triangle choke. Now, we're not done yet. This is a mobile transition, which means a lot of movements takes place. So as I hold on to my shin, it's super important that I adjust, turn, and put my partner in a position where they're fully compromised before I switch to a triangle choke. Let's do it one more time. We're not going to get into details on the triangle itself, uh, you need details on that, look up the triangle video, but right now we just want to focus on that transition from arm lock into the triangle choke submission. So once again, as we are in this position, and again I'm focusing on making sure my partner's chin is tucked away, he's looking in the opposite direction, compromising his bridging and really putting a lot of pressure on his spine and, and making it really uncomfortable. Two, as I'm trying to break this, it doesn't work. I'll bring my foot inside, trap his elbow, step off, make him sit up. And if he doesn't want to sit up, look at this beautiful thing. I can always reach behind his neck and lift him up. This little pull actually might change his mind. Oh, there's an opening. Maybe I can sit in. And once he does, instantly trap your shin. Put your foot on a bicep, I mean, on his hip, raise your hips. Readjust the triangle as needed to finish. One more time. Arm lock position. We are fighting, unable to succeed there. I'm going to switch and trap his bicep. Now I want to be in a position where he feels comfortable sitting in. And once he does, again, Trap my shin, foot on a hip, hips up, adjust if needed, and then finish the triangle in a traditional way, providing a very nice transition between an arm lock and then into a triangle choke.